Hello my dear Pisces, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between October 16 to October 31st, 2016 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can contact me at queenofcupstarot at outlook.com. So, October 16, we will have the full moon, a so-called supermoon. It is also known as hunter moon by Native Americans and uh, also known as blood moon throughout the world it will be the first of the three super moons for 2016 it will look slightly larger and brighter than usual at october 20 to 21 we will have the orionite meteor shower that radiates from the constellation of orion it is dust grains left behind by comet Halley. Uh, so i urge you to go out and look it's really beautiful to look at those meteor showers in the night sky and October 30 we will have uh, the new moon in daytime so the night at this time will be very dark without the moon so you can gaze at stars at that time also here in Sweden it's getting rather cold so you need to have uh, warm clothes but you can lie down in in the nature and look at the stars it's really good for your soul okay so I call the divine with love and light and I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and I call the six elements earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Pisces viewers. I want, want my dear Pisces uh, to find love in their lives and also find creative success and their highest path towards spiritual enlightenment and they, their highest destiny. Uh, so, for my Pisces viewers, the last part of October 2016, what's up? What's up with you? Oh, a jumper, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is uh, usually those times when you're thinking obsessively about something. You're trying to uh, solve a problem, but you can't really because it's like... Uh, seems equal the different suggestions so it can be really hard to make a decision and sometimes people are not also talking with each other when with the eight of swords so it's a tangled situation that probably will solve by its own accord if you just relax a little bit okay so I'll tune in a little bit to you Pisces this uh, time October Last part of October 2016 for Pisces. Okay, so this is your future, and this is the now here, and this is the past. Uh, the now is probably the time between 16 to 31st of October, but whenever you watch this, is probably exactly the right time to see it. Okay. So, the first card for you is Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is um, Sagittarius, and I think Sagittarius in Saturn. So, um, it's um, um, forward-moving energy um, that wants to... Mm, yeah, it's, sometimes it's, it's like you're rather exhausted, actually. And sometimes it's like you need to put up boundaries in your life. Uh, healthy boundaries. And sometimes it's like you have too much boundaries, too much rules for... Uh, how you want people to behave to, to be able to be with you um, so it can be in either way but we'll see where it goes nine of wands it's usually like you're a little bit hurt and you try to figure out how to behave in the future so you won't get hurt again yes here we have yes mm -hmm. uh, the nine of wands is um, is usually depicted like a person holding a wand like to protect their heart chakra and this little girl here she is protecting her heart chakra with both her arms uh, uh, so it's probably that you have gone on one or two like mm, a bad situation in your life uh, which you are not wanting to you don't want to repeat that you don't want to find yourself in the same situation again so therefore you have put uh, a lid on, on on some of your areas of your life you might not you're trying to keep people out, maybe, and yourself in. And um, you have turned uh, your back against the waters here and the moon. Uh, so you think, think that your feelings 
is the problem but of course it is not your feelings that's the problem um, it's just the symptoms of a problem and um, yes it seems like you're trying to protect yourself from something and you and you have bad bad experiences from uh, from the past and now you're trying to figure out uh, what to do and it's not an easy situation it's um it's a balance you know this is libra actually um so it's a balance act like uh, how to not get hurt and respect yourself and still have people in your life mm? i think this is what we see here this is what's has been on the agenda in your past here so uh, the next card coming in is the queen of swords so that's also libra and we are in Libra right now, so a lot of things uh, evolve uh, around balance in relationship, like balance between how much you give and how much you get, and balance uh, in, yes, respect between people and how much uh, effort you put down in different relationships and in your work and, and so on. Uh, so it seems like you have been working a lot with with questions of balance and justice and Yes, where to put your boundaries to not get hurt and uh, how to get maybe others to take some steps in your life as well. It seems like you feel that you are rather alone, taking a lot of responsibility and it seems to weigh on you. Hmm. I wish that you ha would have someone that you can share this with. and But it's not easy, especially if you are afraid and not wanting to let anyone into your life here. Uh, so, but here you have a Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles, it's a place of value. It can be your home that feels really secure. It could be a place where you work, where you get your money that's very secure. It could be a family situation. It could be re your relationship. It could be your relationship with your children, with your pets. Something is feeling, it seems to be very stable here. Um, we'll see what, where it goes with this. Uh, the next card is also a nine of cups so it works really well with a with a ten of pentacles so it seems like you have um, many of your needs met here um, it's a ten place of value safety very safe nine of cups it's like you have the kind of people in your life that you are supposed to have you are surrounded by um, the kind of persons that you you need in your life and and it's a situation where you really can get your needs met uh, so it's a bit contradictive, but we will see where it goes because this one's here. They seem it's very lonely. It's like lone fighters, maybe out in nature, being far, far away from home, and then suddenly, boom! Here we have a home. Uh, so we'll see where it goes. The next card, it's the now. It's for the now here, and here we have a king of wands. Uh, so maybe uh, some people of persons with you have a problem with with a leo person or sagittarius or aries or yeah it could be any sign but some kind of um, person that's really fiery they are very creative when they want something they see too that they are getting it but they also have this wall against other people so they won't hurt them they very like full with self-respect so they might be like hard to get to know sometimes if if a Leo person or another fire sign person, this is a lot of Leo here, is, is getting hurt. They can be uh, really defensive and, and, and keep people on a distance with a roar maybe. Mm? Uh, so it's something going on here. It's Sagittarius here and, and this is Leo. So a lot of fire anyway. Uh, and uh, here we have an Ace of Wands. So that's also fire and it's like... It's like yet it has been some kind of um, battle going on. It's not a battle per se. It's not like an open battle. It's more like a battle of will power. It's a battle of wit. It's a battle of um, uh, people like putting boundaries towards towards another. And mm, it seems like it's a, a bit of quiet uh, battle here. You had the two of swords here and nine of wands. So it's a bit like restricted, but still it's very powerful people we see here. She's uh, um, really like respect herself utterly true and true. And um, she's rather the alone than let people step on her. Uh, this one needs more company and wants more like life and love in their life. But if they have get hurt, you know, uh, the story with the lion with the 
torn in their paw they can be very um, upset mm -hmm. okay so here it's like kind of a new beginning it might have been like a great havoc before because this is a very strong energy it's um, all only trumped out by the sun um, so it's high energy it's like a fire hose of energy and um, yeah usually it's burns up it's like trial by fire you can say and here comes like this butterfly it's uh, the bird phoenix you can say rising from the ashes and a new dawn uh, so it's something going on here maybe maybe you have wanted a new beginning with um, a fire sign person but there might have been like um, a little bit of silence there uh, maybe you have long for for starting a new relationship or maybe have some kind of affair together with uh, with this and I mean like business wise um, and, and it seems to have well the communication may have been a bit stale here we'll see uh, the next card is the emperor and it comes underneath the queen of swords and in between this uh, king of wands and this mm -hmm. so it seems like it seems like a project to me uh, it seems like yeah, like people are are gazing. This is the goal. Like uh, we want to have like uh, a lot of finances and our like our needs met. So uh, very much about uh, outer security. Like so maybe it's a business, uh, like business or something to do with work or it's it's a battle in a relationship maybe. Uh, of who will have the strongest position and it seems like everyone has kind of decided that the one that's tolerate the most pain without blinking with their eyes will be the one that wins but we'll see where it's go going it's a bit strange yes here you have a three of pentacles so it seems to have something to do with work or like a discussion or a battle between people maybe in a family situation or in a partnership uh, three of pentacles here it's like yeah it's like a lot of potential but you need to work on it and you need to like um, talk a lot to see that everyone's needs are met and so everyone can feel like okay with this uh, new plan this new like business plan or relationship plan or plan to build a house or buy a house or yeah make something that has a constant value it seems it could be with health as well um, with the three of pentacles it's usually like kind of a health plan or a plan how to solve problems uh, so it seems like it's a rather harmonious bunch here but but they are mm, a little bit of power struggle so we'll see. here is the three of cups also coming really nicely together with the three of pentacles so three of cups is is again it's like you share a lot of things here uh, share maybe equal val values and also like um, yeah sh share equal m goals about what will make you happy um, and it's three again and we actually have three people here so it could be something uh, going on here uh, between three people uh, maybe air sign um, uh, fire sign this is areas as well and somewhere you come in in the picture you watery pisces so we'll see um so it it looks like um um it's it looks very valuable it looks very nice it's like um, um having all your needs met having nice discussions it almost looked like you live like many people are at the same place um maybe you're um staying at friend's house or um, it's some kind of gathering, some kind of workshop or some kind of event where there's a lot of people like uh, getting together, having the same kind of interest maybe. And we have this emperor here, here really central. Emperor is about uh, being able to put up boundaries and we had a lot of with boundaries ha here. Um, but it's also about taking responsibility and problem solving and uh, like um, stretching out your kingdom. Uh, and this king of wands is also very very creative so uh, they are usually like um, rebuilding the world every time you see them so they have a new project all the time and um, they are very like lively mind 
Uh, so, and between this king and this emperor, you have this ace of wands, this willpower, this new fiery energy, like this fire hose. But it comes from a place of two of swords. So it's like a battle between minds, almost like who can be the coolest, the least attached. And we actually have a queen of swords here also turning the back uh, to the whole situation, but looking more uh, in this direction. Uh, this emperor is looking there and the king of wands is looking like here. Um, so it seems that the queen of swords is more focused upon these things that's uh, with to do with how we can solve the problems while those two here might be more occupied with uh, how we can win the situation so it's a bit of different um, uh, approach to to a certain problem okay so we'll see what's going on in the future so here we have a four of cups it comes underneath the uh, the king of wands uh, so it might be that they still it's it's like they are they are hurt uh, it's like they are uh, very protective of themselves and might have turned off of their feelings to to keep uh, a sense of self to keep a sense of security to um usually the these these kind of king of wands persons they they don't really stick around when when things get like uncomfortable uh, they have too much self-respect but here it seems like um, uh, this lion is a bit tamed and a bit cornered and, and try to look very cool uh, but uh, you, actually they are very hurt with both the nine of wands and the four of cups it indicates that uh, that they are very hurt and they are just showing up a, a, um, a face uh, for you um, like not that they don't care but um it's more feels like they are more trying to take responsibility for their own feelings uh, like don't um, smudge them over other people um it's more like this so maybe they try to show up a strong face especially to this emperor here uh so the emperor can be you it's probably you uh, that have taken more control over your life situation and um, you have uh, maybe the Queen of Swords is, is your logic mind. You have tried to um, like detach yourself emotionally from a situation that we might not see. It might be like here in the past. Uh, so uh, this is probably you, both the Queen of Swords and the Emperor. It's probably you. And one side of you wants to create a beautiful future for yourself. Uh, and the other one is here facing this um, new energy, like the willpower. So it's like you don't really know. One part of you is really sure what you want. And the other part is like in the making, like don't really know what, what to create. And it's like a hope here between those two persons. But in the same time, they seem to not be speaking uh, really truthfully or honestly to one another. So we'll see. Oh, here comes a knight of cups. So that is finally some kind of Pisces person. Um, so hmm, uh, the Leo person seems to be a bit uh, hurt and it can be for you as well that you feel like this. But finally you are thinking, well, nothing will be if anyone, if no one is doing it. So it seems like uh, you are changing your mind here because it's like this as well. The other person with you know, it's a lot of crossed arms here over the heart chakra. Uh, so we have this story as well, like uh, trying to not have any feelings. And then um, actually, it's like some kind of inspiration that you're like, can't, you can't overlook it. It might be like you're still in love with someone or you feel a connection or you have a dream, you have a goal and it's hard to like um, see past that even if you tried you try to be like not need that kind of situation or kill your dreams or um, not love a person or whatever but here it's like you have changed your mind you have gone from this to getting this like a new idea like feeling inspired and here here you come with with a cup here and um, maybe reaching out to someone you have been uh, both those persons seem to have been like grudging it for a time, like keeping grudges or being sad. Mm? 
So here we have a six of pentacles. So that's with equality again. It's a lot with balance here with this, this and this card. Uh, six of pentacles. It's like how you try to get along, how you try to compromise, how you try to make friends. Um, it's um, very well depicted with the three of pentacles. But three of pentacles is like um, a bit more struggle. It's like uh, it's a bit more harder. It's a bit more uh, more hard problems to solve. Uh, but with the six of pentacles, the energy has lightened up a little bit. And now you're finally being able to to talk like friendly with one another again here it could be like more that you actually need to face actual problems so you can't really be that friendly you need to be very true with what you say like this is what I want and I can't compromise with that but when we have come this far and actually someone has reached out their hand and it's the energy is might lighter you can be more giving you can be more compromising because the situation isn't that deep and serious anymore so it the energy has lightened up a little bit uh, so and here we have a full card and um, uh, so it's something here it's like a bit reversed it is ten of pentacles three of pentacles and then the fool so it's like you have a great home and it's um, some problems with that and you decide to do something totally different it seems from my point of view uh, like you want to do something new um, maybe not stay in this house anymore or in this situation of value maybe trying your wings and doing something totally new and it can also be like a person leaving one relationship for another since we have more persons here and it's three three here uh, so it can be like leaving a safe situation for something unknown mm, it's something going on here like hurt feelings and then you're trying to work on it and suddenly someone jumps and do something adventurous uh, six of cups yes so it's come kind of reconciliation it's something like trying to um, get back to a sense of uh, love it's like getting back a lost lover or um, fixing something that went wrong in your childhood or it can be past life karma that actually have a chance of fixing itself here so it's um, it's a bit complex I will try to to look at the whole story here hmm yes it's definitely someone leaving here and it's the sh children so it could be children leaving home also uh, and um, that that could be some problem especially for the parents that have to see them go uh, they have seen them grown up and now they have seen them go to school and now they are finally ready to leave leave the home and um, you have nine of cups three of cups six of cups so it's like they were there and you shared everything with them and then they didn't want to share exactly as much and now maybe they are going to have to make a uh, life of their own uh, so for some it could be like you are being a father and, and your children are growing up and might not really need you anymore uh, um, so that could be one of the suggestions but they can also be like i said uh, that there have been um, it's a woman maybe that need to take uh, take a decision for, for leaving her her past family maybe for a new man uh, so that could be also it uh, but it's a very very different situations here but whenever whatever it doesn't seem to be that tricky for you in your end it's someone that's a bit hurt here this um, a fiery person here seems to uh, feel a bit lonely but in the same time it's a really good connection in between here so um, it doesn't seem like this could be the uh, the left husband either mm, even though the queen is like uh, not facing uh, it's, she has her back turned against all this mm, uh, so uh, for the most of you, this will be like an ordinary month, um, uh, ordinary ending of Sep uh, October, sorry, not a lot of things happening. Uh, it looks like uh, yeah, it could be a little bit of problem in a, a, a love relationship or a family or it could be those situations where, where things are changing. Uh, someone may change their job or leave, leave their home for making their own home on, or leaving for travel. Um, leaving for for a longer kind of travel travel and you have six here and six 
surrounding this full card and a three up here. Uh, so it's some kind of harmonious feeling to this. It's like it's a good thing that this person is is leaving. It's a good uh, it's a good thing. It's going to lead to something uh, harmonious. Uh, it might do not. You know, that's your plan and that's God's plan, you know, so it might not be easy, but but it's for the greater good anyway, it seems. And um, the emperor here um, has a very good uh, judgment skills, I think, with the queen of swords, like being able to put a just decision and also a lot of inspiration, inspiration and problem solving and and like wanting to for everyone it, it's wanting it to be good for everyone it seems uh, so it looks like you have a rather uh, harmonious end of um, october uh, pisces but it's um, it's a bit with um, closed heart chakra that you might need to work on a little bit here like a good uh, discipline like a good student uh, this number three trinity it's spiritual growth probably uh, that you need to work together with your divine sources and, and in your relationship to open up your heart chakra maybe a little bit. Okay, so I will take some cards for you from the wisdom of the hidden realms. See what's going on for my dear Pisces. Oh. So, yes, we have the wise woman of Wonderland here, integrity and compromise. And we have a lot of with this. Here we have integrity and here we have compromise. So you have both of these things going on in your life. So it might be like a little bit of fight between those two in yourself. Like how much should you, where should you put boundaries and how much should you compromise? And, um, and the clue here is to do what's making you... Uh, most happy and feeling like it's most truly you uh, so it doesn't like you don't have to grind your teeth at not night because of um, not following your inner guidance uh, so something that's not uh, creating tension within you something that make you feel like <sighs> like relaxing yes so make those kinds of decision not the ones that you do because you have to uh, don't compromise yourself in that way because it's not accordingly with your soul. Um, so it seems like it's a lot of uh, problem solving going on. Like, should I do this or should I do that? And you had the eight of swords also when, uh, jumping out when we mix the cards. And, and that's usually um, like problems going to solve by its own accord. You don't, the more you think, the more you will... Um, complicate the situation so it could be kind of this that try to relax a little bit try to take a deep breath and and feel in what could be the best decision for you and how to approach this situation and it's also the river queen here flow letting go natural movement and this is little what we saw here with the whole reading especially especially with the knight of cups and the fool like it's something maybe that you need to let go maybe you feel a lot of feelings and that's why you have a hard time making a decision, especially if you're a parent. Um, where, where, where do you dry, draw the lines between what to allow and how much stress you can take? Like how much pain can you take for, from uh, your children growing up and leaving you? So, um, so it's maybe something with this that you, uh, you are put between your own feelings and what's right to do. Uh, so, but the advice is uh, flow, letting go, natural movement, and and it seems to be a very harmonious situation for this fool here. Uh, so, um, and maybe it's about you also taking more chances. Uh, maybe you have have um, waited for a chance your whole life, and now it's turning up, and and you are not sure. Like, should I leave this very safe situation and do this new thing? Uh, that could be so wonderful or or should I stay with my responsibilities but it seems like you you need to to go with the flow a little bit and and maybe yeah do a little adventurous things and and you will um, we are here to experience we are not here to just hold on to things and and of course if you have loved ones that doesn't want you to leave that's a, a trouble some situation but maybe you can actually invite them to come with you 
maybe you don't have to abandon people just for fulfilling your own destiny and uh, so i will take some card for you from the past life oracle card to see what's going on with pisces my my this month adventurous pisces okay and a little scared also with the all the crossing over the heart chakra oh oh that's serious here we have persecution and inquisition and unrequited love and uh, i guess this is the uh, foundation to those things that you are working with some some old um wounds that i i told you about before like this is looks like something that that you don't want to happen again you don't want to feel like this again and um, so you're trying to take necessary precautions uh, to not feel like this again uh, so it could be you or some other person in your life that have been um, like mistreated in some way and like being judged for who they are uh, so they have tried to not be who they are they have tried to not feel their feelings not be the person that they are uh, trying to restrain themselves, trying to be like, remember all the rules of society and how to behave and things like this. Uh, so it's like not being accepted for who you are and, and therefore not being loved uh, either. Uh, so, but I think we have come to a time now where, where we all can start to be like the persons we are and, and still become loved, actually become more loved uh, because uh, when we are in our power, when we have taken our own, like, follow our own authority here, like you have done with this emperor here, very central. When you have listened, when you're starting to listen to yourself more, uh, you are getting highly energetic, energetic, because you are taking back your lost soul parts. Uh, and that will actually make you more magnetic. Uh, to people, situations, and so forth that will make you happy. Because if you are um, like aiming to make yourself happy and to follow your bliss and to follow your intuition and to follow your like not restricting yourself, not trying to alter yourself, not trying to educate yourself into being something you aren't, uh, then uh, people around you will stop doing this as well. Uh, so that could be the key for you. Uh, this um, October, my dear Pisces, too. Um, this is a situation that's past. It's not longer here, but it seems like you have. It's like in the backwater of healing from this, and um, now it's like you're taking new, a new go on your life, and this is the past. I think very much in the past, like um, you have understand this to some level. And therefore, we have the emperor here really central because you're now your own authority. You doesn't, you don't let like, you don't alter yourself to make other people love you anymore. Uh, you have understand that this make you like uh, crazy, uh, going in different directions. Um, it's like whatever you do, it will be wrong. Like with the wise woman of Wonderland, that it's this balance be between integrity and 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 compromise. Uh, so, see her little face if we can. She has a very uh, beautiful little face. Yeah, okay, so so I think this is something in the past that, and that you are trying to, you are actually recovering from this now and you are following your own inner guidance more, especially with the full card that you have here. And the Six of Cups, it's like this situation is going to heal now. So it's like a childhood situation or a past life situation is going to heal by your own accord, by you uh, actually accepting yourself as you are and not um, uh, not second guessing yourself. Uh, so it seems like uh, Pisces have uh, um, a little bit of a vacation uh, this last part of October, like more trying to settle in, in the new you and, um, and uh, try to like um yeah get in balance with with who you are and and what you want to be in the future so it's more like you're getting to know yourself uh, a little better uh, so it seems sweet so uh, thank you uh, my dear pisces for all of you watching uh, liking and subscribing to my videos and also for all of you commenting uh, i'm trying to read uh, every 
comment and also answer when I have the time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can contact me in the email in the description box below the video. And um, uh, also I would, uh, I hope to see you again in uh, the beginning of November. So take really good care until then. Uh, bye bye.